Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And just as my voice starts coming back, just as I start feeling like I have a little bit more pep in my step again, because for those who don't know, I had COVID for the past five, six days now, and it's it sucked. Those first three days were were really awful, <laughs> and uh, and I'm I'm glad it's out of my system. Uh, I'm gonna do another test tomorrow to make sure that I'm completely negative of it, um, so I can go back to work sometime this week. But with a hurricane or a tropical storm coming, Ian is attacking now uh, here in Florida. So my work has shut down for the next couple days. So now I'm home for the next few days, uh, you know, unpaid from work and everything like that. But uh, but it'll give me opportunity to catch up on stuff that I could have done when I was off, you know, but I had COVID and I was I was put out completely. So it's nice to come back and to come back to such you know, unbelievable news. I honestly didn't think we were going to get Deadpool 3 news today and not just any news from Deadpool 3, but Variety reporting uh, Jordan Moreau here saying that Hugh Jackman is back as Wolverine in Deadpool 3 with Ryan Reynolds and it has a release date. Uh, so I guess Ryan Reynolds took to social media. He put out a video, you know, and a, and a comment saying, you know, that they're sad they missed D23, but they've been working on, you know, Deadpool 3 ideas for a while and he said, you know, in the video, he says, ah, I searched my heart. I was looking for just the perfect idea to introduce Deadpool to the MCU. And I came up dry. There's, I have no ideas. He's like, basically, um, you know, I, I don't know what to do. And he goes, so we fell back on our default idea, our plan B or whatever. He was like, we had one other idea and here it is. And Hugh Jackman walks by in the background and Ryan Reynolds says, hey, Hugh, do you want to play Wolverine again? And he was like, yeah, sure, Ryan. And then leaves the room. And then Ryan just kind of winks at the camera and then boom, we get the logo and then the claw marks uh, Wolverine slashing through it. So that's amazing. So I, I'm, I mean, first of all, I didn't think this was going to happen because old man Logan or Logan, uh, you know, based on the old man Logan comic was so well done. And, and Hugh was very adamant that that was his last hoorah as the character of Wolverine. But, and I think at the time Patrick Stewart said it would probably be his last time as Xavier but then he came back as a cameo in the Doctor Strange movie, spoiler alert for people who didn't see that, uh, and they started opening up the multiverse stuff. So now I'm thinking maybe that is one of the reasons, and or maybe they, I don't know, like how big is Wolverine's role in this? I mean, his call marks cut through the logo of Deadpool, so I'm hoping his role is as big as Cable's was in the, the second Deadpool movie. Um, I would really love a story with these two guys on screen together considering they were on screen together in Wolverine Origins, the, the first uh, solo Wolverine movie, and how just, you know, how I guess it wasn't to my liking, I guess. I, I don't want to say it was an awful, awful experience, uh, although I am sure some people would probably say that that movie was. But for me, I thought there's some good in that movie. I just thought there was a, a lot of just jumbled stuff, like let's throw this in, let's throw this in. And they threw so much in that I think they forgot some of the hearts of some of these characters and why you would use certain mutants in certain movies. And honestly, if it was a movie about Wolverine and Sabretooth just going through every war, uh, that would have been cool enough for me because that whole opening sequence with them was really awesome. Uh, but uh, but then they threw Deadpool in and they made him like, you know, not really Deadpool. Uh, so so this is like a, a great chance maybe at a, at a redemption in a way, but also something that clearly fans have been asking for. And I'm not saying you should always cave in to fan demand. Uh, I think sometimes you fans say they want one thing and and then but you give them like, OK, here's we can't give you that, but we're going to give you something you didn't know you want. And and I thought that's probably the route they were going to go with Deadpool three. But throwing Hugh in here and having him as Wolverine, I'm really jazzed. I, I'm really curious to see where this could go as a story and how they're going to. You know, if, if they're bringing Deadpool into the MCU, does that mean Wolverine's coming along with them? Or is Wolverine going to be his tether to the Fox universe and Deadpool's going to be like, you know, between two girlfriends? <laughs> like, uh, you know, I want to go with Colossus to the MCU. And no, stay with me in the, you know, in the in the the Fox past or whatever. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be something that kind of silly or goofy or if, um or, you know, I don't know. Because the second Deadpool movie, I thought, surprisingly had more heart in it than I expected. Um, and I think, uh, also, you know, there was like a plan for Mr. Sinister in that movie and they never did it. Although I think they teased that he got Wolverine's blood or something or Essex company did. 
in one of the other X-Men movies and they had this whole plan for Mr. Sinister and never did it. So maybe this is a good way to kind of wrap that up and button that up, but also introduce a couple things to the MCU because I heard they're going to start now with Miss Marvel. They're starting to introduce the concept of mutants into the Marvel universe. And that might even continue with Namor coming up because Namor in the comics was the first mutant uh, in the Marvel universe. Uh, well, technically I guess, uh, well, I guess he was before apocalypse. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I mean, he was first printed, I guess, uh, in comics. And then Apocalypse, timeline-wise, I guess, is the first mutant. Uh, but uh, yeah, that gets all kind of messy and, and everything. But I I'm just jazzed. I, you know, like I said, I, I didn't have any energy. And then yesterday I started to come back. And then today I felt really good. And I'm like, okay, this is finally getting out of my system. I can breathe. I can talk without, you know, taking a, a deep breath in between sentences. And this was a, a nice thing to kind of let my energy out on because I'm very excited for this. As you know, I'm a huge fan of Hugh Jackman and I am a big fan of Ryan Reynolds. I like Green Lantern. I have the movie over there, the poster um, signed. I have a signed picture from Hugh Jackman. Um, these two guys are amazing, amazing uh, you know, actors and, and artists. And um, I'm really jazzed to see now what we're going to get when this movie comes out September 6th. 2024 so about two it's two years from now two years and like you know just shy of two years you know, a couple weeks shy of two years but that's um that's amazing that means they're going to start getting into it they're going to start filming uh probably early next year and i'm i'm anxious to see so hopefully we'll get even more news soon um you know more information about how big the role is for the character of wolverine and maybe a little bit of what the plot might be i'm sure there will be leakers and, and and scoopers and people saying they have all the lowdown on this but nobody saw this coming. Uh, everybody wanted it, but nobody really saw it coming, and that is awesome. And so uh, I love Ryan Reynolds. So glad that they, uh, him and Hugh took to social media to release this, and I'm glad I could report it to you as my first video back post-COVID. So uh, I will get now into making some more videos now that I don't have work for the next few days, and I'll try to get some more stuff up to you this weekend. So if, let me know what you think of this. I'll put the link to the Variety article, which also has the video by Ryan Reynolds. I'll put all that down below. I didn't want to just quote the article. I just wanted to give my thoughts on this. Um, but this is the article that I got the information from and that had the link to Ryan Reynolds' Twitter account. So I'll put all this in the description box so you can check it out. And I want to hear your thoughts. Are you excited? Any stories, plots that you would hope that they bring into this new uh, movie, you know, with Wolverine and Deadpool? Do you think it's going to be purely a Weapon X thing? Is it these two guys ending up in the MCU and going, okay, we're in a different dimension now, but uh, this world must also have a Weapon X program. Should we go shut it down before it gets started? And maybe they end up there too late. Like, what do you think it's going to be? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below, and we'll continue the conversation down there. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.